Okay, we're going to take a look at the Fairview. This is the three bedroom model. Um, the Fairview, the two and three bedrooms are what we call couple cottages, somewhat like a duplex. Um, you can see the front door to the other side there. We're going to move around to the left here and go into the three bedroom side. This is actually our model unit. This is something worth taking note of is the keys that are used at the retreat. We'll give you more information on those, but they're a big part of our security measures at the retreat. Um, as you walk in, you can see the floors that we use are almost indestructible. They look quite nice. All the units you're going to find have very similar cabinets, appliances, pretty much the same stuff everywhere you go. One thing I've always appreciated about the retreat is how they take every detail uh, into consideration. For example, you see the eyes on the stove. They used to use a solid surface uh, stove and now they've switched over to those eyes because they're much easier to replace. The kids were kind of destroying the solid surface. Here we're taking a look at the kitchen and great room again on the three bedroom unit. Um, something else you'll notice, you've got rounded corners on all the walls. That helps uh, prevent damage as uh, kids obviously have a bit of a wear and tear on these. Um, we're going to go outside now. Every unit at the retreat either has a patio or a deck. Um, backyards, obviously the retreat's a very dog-friendly uh, student housing, which uh, sets it apart. Uh, the patios and the decks are pretty worth making note of. Uh, obviously, the decks are probably well liked, but uh, the patios are indestructible. Here, we're in one of the bedrooms. Um, every single bedroom at the retreat has its own bath. Um, two bedrooms to five bedrooms all have a private bath. Here's a look at a typical private bath. This one is actually the downstairs bath on the three bedroom, which has two doors, opens up so that uh, guests downstairs can use that bath as well. <coughs> Going upstairs in the three bedroom unit, um, you see obviously built in bookcases all over the place. We'll go into one of the bedrooms here. Um, to your left, you're going to see one of the two closets in here. We have ample closet space all over the retreat. And uh, we try the best we can to even that out so that people don't fight over bedrooms. Uh, we try to make each bedroom kind of have its own positives so that uh, kids don't fight over them. Back in the right-hand corner here is the, uh, the bathroom. Uh, tile floors. All of the bathrooms have the same configuration. Uh, tub tile insert. Uh, those are, you know, really durable and uh, prevent leaking uh, a lot better than a tile bath wood. There you can see that second closet there to the left. All right, moving here, you're going to see the laundry area upstairs. One of the most important things to note here is that pipe to the right side, just to the left of the uh, hot water heater, is the fire suppression sprinkler system. Indoor fire suppression sprinklers is something you're going to find almost exclusively unique to the retreat, particularly in a cottage style environment. Um, obviously a tremendous safety feature, uh, lowers your insurance, and, and most importantly, it keeps the kids safe. Uh, here's that upstairs bedroom, another uh, private bath. And we'll close out with a view out to the front of the unit. Ample parking at the retreat, too. Big, big issue. 